Hi, this is Raheem Zulfikar Ali from Excel Basement Private Limited and today in this video we will be learning one awesome trick about uh, data validation technique how we can create our own custom messages and uh, we will be using Excel feature of uh, symbol and we will write uh, if formula in it uh, th this kind of uh, custom messages and validation technique you can use either in your dashboard reports or any other kind of MIS report where you are required to validate certain uh, words or things so yeah, use them. I will put a username into cell D4 and it will validate and through the validation if the username will be correctly uh, entered in cell D4 it will show our check mark or a tick mark uh, in in the cell e4 or if there will be a wrong username or if will be a blank cell so it will uh, show you a cross sign symbol so let's get start uh, how we can uh, create this kind of a validation uh, within the Microsoft Excel so first uh, we need to insert a symbol for inserting a symbol I will click on insert tab and on the right side you will find a symbol icon here just click on it so from here might be uh, by default you will have a different font settings here so you need to change uh, from this drop down menu to the wingdings 2 font so select the wingdings 2 font and uh, here you will see a different symbols available so we need uh, two symbols that is the right tick mark and and the cross symbol so I will just click on this symbol and I will click on insert again and I will click on cross symbol and click on insert again and then close this window so I got the right mark and the cross symbol within the cell G4 and I will utilize them with the help of uh, if formula and also I will create that uh, symbols through a different color uh, because I want uh, the check mark with, with a green color and a cross wrong symbol uh, with a red color when when there will be a validation where, when we will put the username in it so we need to create a logic for that and uh, let me show you if you understand the if function that is very simple we have three function arguments in it logical test value if true and value if false so let's say if we if we say this formula to check d4 is equal to F7 now F7 is a cell where we already have entered a correct username in it which is the Raheem dot Zulfikar Ali now in in a different case scenario you might have more than one username and you want to check that within the cell D4 where we put or manually write the username so from that list you need to validate but for this specific video and giving you a concept and an idea I have just taken one username uh, which which is already entered in uh, F7 so the uh, so I have created a logical test that if D7 will be exactly matching with F7 then show the right symbol which is a tick mark symbol right so I need to insert a tick mark within this inverted commas uh, so I need to copy that symbol and I will paste that text here but before that uh, let me complete the formula so once I completed the formula I will go to again cell G4 and I will just copy this tick mark or a right symbol and I will just paste in the function argument is value if true right now uh, what happens is this cell is being blank the first thing because I have not user uh, entered any username here so for example if I write Raheem dot Zulfikar Ali so definitely it matches the criteria and it shows P here now why P here because I have not changed the font of this particular cell because the Calibri is being set by default so I will set the font to the Wingdings 2 right and I will press the enter key now it's it's a right symbol is shown here but I also want to do a formatting a bit formatting so I need to change the font color green and I will make it a bit bold and I will increase the size of this uh, tick mark and what I need to do is I will just copy this cell and I will make this cell as a link picture so for doing that I will click on home tab click on paste icon and that's the last option which is called link picture so this cell will be now converted into a picture and I can drag and drop anywhere I, I would like to so I can just drag and drop this uh, 
so I can just drag and drop this to nearest to this username uh, which is in E4 in my situation okay now the next part would be if there is no username here for example blank so I need a cross symbol or if I put a, a wrong username for example so it shows me a, a cross symbol um, as in red color so I need to create one more logic with the help of if function so I will use an another extra cell for that so now for this time I will be using a new logical test that is if this cell is not equals to F7 so whatever will be written a different from cell F7 would definitely show uh, the cross symbol and I need to put that into value if true function argument so let me just copy that specific cross symbol and I will paste within the value if true argument right now definitely I need to change uh, the font Calibri to the wingdings too and I will make it uh, color into red bold and a bit large and I will copy this particular cell and I will make this cell also as a link picture right and I will just drag and drop this particular picture uh, on top of this uh, cell E4 where I place the tick mark or the right symbol just before right so if there is if there is wrong name here the X is shown here and if I put Raheem dot Zulfikar Ali which is the right username you can see a right symbol has been shown now what I need to do is I can go uh, username uh, placed here so there is a cross symbol here and if if I write the correct username this changes into a right symbol so this this is a kind of a validation we have not exactly used the built-in feature of data validation available but we have re relatively made the similar kind of a thing that if if the username has been placed correctly the right symbol has been shown or if the username is not correct so the cross symbol has been shown now if you ask about these working because these are the additional working we have done so as you know the the rule of dashboards and the reports that uh, all your working should be in, in a separate sheet and all your end result should be or a visual visualization should be in a separate sheet so uh, for, for particular in this video and giving you a concept I have made working in the same sheet whereas in your real-time example you will make a working in a different sheet within that particular scope of the workbook and you will uh, have this interactive view when whenever you can do a validation it will show a different symbol to you so I hope you like this uh, technique and you can apply in your dashboards and normal reports do share with others thank you